loading. All right, so let's begin, I would say. I just died. Yeah, that's bad. Do I have a double jump? Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, this is a platforming shooter. Um, I would say it's kind of like Metroidvania, but we have to see ourselves. We saw the trailer in the beginning. Um, what do we know already is spikes are a one-hit KO. Good to know. So if I were to mess up with this jump, then we would have a problem. Oh no! no. Okay, they go forward. Good to know as well. What is this? Checkpoints are reset when levels quit a level. Once fully completed, unlocked permanently and can be loaded from the main menu. Oh, what is this? Oh yeah, and this is... Okay, so here I can just stay so, still... Oh no! Oh god, okay, he's actually attacked then. I don't know if there's any secrets to this game. There is no, um... There are no achievements, so I don't know if there's gonna be like... Okay, I can't aim like that. Um, oh shit. Oh my god. Oh! Oh wow, that was skillful. Oh, what? How am I supposed to do that jump? I think there should be ground there. Okay, there is ground. Um, oh boy, these just go for it, holy sh... Whoa. Luckily, I'm a skilled gamer who knows how to dodge. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there is any collectible, really, if there's no, you know, uh, achievements or anything. Oh, hello there. It really wish the controller would work, but a lot. Wait, actually, actually, uh, press pause again or fire jump to quit. Let me let me try it again because I just realized something that I could simply do. Um. All right, and this is fire. So let's make fire space key. Oh, interesting. All right, so th let's make this one, for example. This fire and this jump. That is the wrong button. God damn it. Uh, this is gonna be mouse one, sure. Uh, Escape key already exists. All right, sure. Then minus tab, I guess, and that is the sprint. So that should be mouse one key. Both of these are. Oh, this is mouse zero. Is huh? Interesting. Um. Make this the missile, and this the sprint key, and then this the missile again and this is okay so left plus back is all right great so so we got the the controller let's go we got the controller easy this this feels way better to control everything is reset sadly now but this should be way better now because now i can relax and lie back so let's do this. Ooh, is this a secret? I can't get to there, sadly. Ah, this is sprint. Yeah, and this is the, the lockdown. I 
wonder if I can like jump further when I sprint. Probably, actually. Alright, this is a checkpoint. Why are spikes just a one hit KO, please? Could somebody explain? Hmm, I forgot the sugar. When do they decide to attack? That's kind of my question here. I mean, falling spikes that big in real life would probably be instant death. Yes, but also probably encountering zombies, I guess. But you have a point there. I just uh, thought of a meme, but I don't know if it's a nice meme or not. Like, um, basically, mom, can we have Doom? Yeah, we have Doom at home. Doom at home. <laughs> Oh, indie doom, am I right? Like, when do they decide to... Jesus Christ. Like, see what I mean? Sometimes they just go full on aggro and then they chill and... It's weird. Also, I think we get different missiles or at least different attack patterns because this right now is... Ooh, interesting. I thought that was a secret, but not. Uh, right now this seems to be plasma. By the way, is the audio mix okay? Oh god, these fall from... Probably like... Speed up. Ah, wrong button. Okay, these are also not semi-solids, these are solids. Oh, could I... No. I can also accelerate the falling, that is kind of funny. This is sad. Alright, let's add some sugar to this. <laughs> oh no, we're all the way back here. I constantly mess up the sprint. And, oh god, I should probably change that, but I don't want to reset my progress. And by the time I can reset my progress, I'll probably get used- Oh, that was the wrong thing. I occasionally have sugar in my tea, but never- uh, coffee In my coffee, but never in tea. Why would you have sugar in your coffee? It's supposed to be, like, ruish. Also, like, sugar in tea is, like, one of the most known things. What kind of tea are you drinking? Like, I'm drinking, like, a very dark tea, or gray. Well, no, this is not a roll. This is English breakfast, actually. But, like, basically always black teas, and you basically always have to sugar black teas. Because otherwise, they're just too damn, um... Too damn, uh... What's the word? Bitter. Wait, how do I still have health? Excuse me? Ah, this is the sprint. What happens if I have exhausted the sprint? Then I just walk normally. Oh, I see. So the red health bars are basically um, your shield for your heart, and then it actually, um, it, uh, like, then it actually attacks your heart. Let's just ignore these since we don't get anything for killing them. I guess. Yeah, that's uh Geronimo! Okay. And we didn't get a checkpoint, did we? There we are. Alright, gamer mode. Yeah, we could actually just speedrun this section, just ignore them. I just realized that, Omeo. Oh,
no reason to actually fight them. Oh no. Well, to be fair, we came out with the same health. Man, Sprint really regen very slowly. Okay, but we have learned. We have learned. Uh, do I just suck at this game? Or is it the controls? Because obviously the controls are bad. The controls I set up myself. They probably actually are. <laughs> Why do I get hit? Oh, that is... Oh, that is also something I hate in, like, Metroid. Okay, just kill me at this point, because we took way too much damage, holy man. Holy moly. Rough, rough. Looks like a hard game. Maybe I'm just bad. But yeah. It's kind of weird, because they have been so complacent. I forgot to stand still. They have been so complacent at the beginning and only like after I shot them a couple of times they charged at me, but no. Now they charge them to me while I'm not even on screen. Like look at this. They started charging before I was on stream. So I don't know what their deal is. Yeah, I, th I think the game loop, the music loop just ended. We went through the entire music loop. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Alright. I wish I could, like... What did I guess? Okay, great. Okay, full health. Can I stay stay, please? <laughs> okay, remember, right stick is the... Oh, yeah, also have this. Oh, this is the inventory. But probably only does stuff in later levels. It's kind of like Doom, actually, I would... I would like, the original Doom. If, you, uh, if any of you ever played that. I actually did. Like, not when I was a kid or something, but recently... Um, it was basically it's on Xbox Game Pass because obviously everything that is Doom is now on Xbox Game Pass and I picked it up and it's pretty pretty good like gotta say it held up very well oh interesting the projectiles that they have so yeah why do I even have to go oh my god checkpoint blessed be the fruit why should I even go up there when I can just like you know, fall down. There's nothing special there, is it? Yeah, like... What? When I kill the enemy, his projectiles also disappear, and that, that is kind of interesting. Oh. And when these flies charge you, there is really no angle at which you can really get them. I can't... Oh god, I almost stopped. Can I... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I need to drop down to the right. I, I thought I needed to, like, go on to the initial things, but no. On the um, things that have the spikes, but no, no, no. Don't, come on. Can't wait until I can kill them with one shot. If, if we ever get power ups, that is, I guess. You're like, how the hell am I supposed to know that I need to drop down here? That's kind of my question. Now we can just ignore all the enemies, literally. Oh my god. 
please give me a checkpoint. Oh, what is the logic of that? What is the skin? What is the logic of fucking spikes falling sideways? Excuse me. What is this nefarious bullshit? Uh, why are these blinking? Am I missing something? They're suicide wasps. And are actually less lethal than normal boss wasps. Imagine if you... One misjump. One misjump. Imagine if you add suicide to something and it becomes less lethal. Alright, we got this. Imagine if you sharp. So what's with the with the G double fled and E sharp meme on, on sh with Shojo's community and stuff? I never understood that, but I kind of think it's funny as fuck. I guess if I jump down here, I can see that I need to drop down. It means F. Oh my god! Oh my. Like, my, my music 101 from back in high school just just came washing back. Like, that is the most cleverest way to say F. Gotta hand it to you. I wonder if these wasps only attack... Oh, yeah, right, these... This shit. Only attack me because I shoot. I'm tempted to try out, like, not to shoot. And see if they still attack me or if they only attack me once I actually shoot. Also, this one I can fairly easy kill. Oh, come on, thank you. All right. G lower two semitones is F E resident. <laughs> okay, don't screw this up. I'm gonna die here, I don't know... Never mind, good. Please, oh my god, there's an archer. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, wait, we can kill that guy. Oh my god, we got a wet hole. With clever positioning, we can survive. I guess I could've just jumped over him. Some, a game I have um, started, uh, like, yes. They're going upwards! I, a game I have started, yeah, like, yesterday, uh, it's called Archvale. Archvale. It's also an Xbox Game Pass. It's kind of like um, stuff like Enter the Gungeon, but it's actually like a linear, or like semi linear, actually. Like, you can choose your own, um, like, where you go first and stuff, but like a story, I would say, story game. Um, kind of like Zelda meets Enter the Gungeon. Um, and I started an Xbox Game Pass, and it's it's really fun. But then I noticed, oh, what about the achievements? I haven't locked any yet, like after playing for two hours or something. And then I see, okay, wait, this is an achievement I should have gotten. Like, go into the first village and so on. Then Google, oh, for Xbox Game Pass, apparently achievements don't... Achievements don't work. So now I have this great game that I want to play. But because I'm also an achievement hunter, because, you know, achievements tell me when I'm actually done with the game, you know. Um, I can't play it yet. I need to find another game, even though I want to play this game. It kind of sucks. So, yeah, Xbox Game Plus, please. Step up your Xbox game. Ha 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 ha. Apropos, step up your game. Have you heard what happened to... Or oh, what, what the, the one... Not what happened to because the per he's the perpetrator, blah, blah, blah. Um, but like what the one Sony. Why does it show no. It just somehow faced left for a second. What the one Sony VP did? That's kind of. Uh, I hate that we learn of new scandals every day. Well, uh, rather that. Uh, rather 
that new scandals are being made every day. Perpetrated. Why do the projectiles vent? Yeah, uh, that's a weird thing. Why do the projectiles vanish of all things, you know? That's kind of my... Hmm. Yeah, that's... Oh, wait. Yeah, that was blood. Great. Oh, I, I saw that I wanted to go back, but it was too late. Alright, let's just go through this. Like, all of these are one- oh my god, yes. One hit KOs. It's so unbelievable. Oh my god, what is this? Did we do the first level? Oh, what the hell? M Mound. You shouldn't have abandoned these hinderlands. Oh, this is our first boss. Oh no, wasps. I'm so done for. Should have made a turbo button. I can't kill these. Good to know. I, I, I think I can't kill, kill these. I think I have to dodge them. Which is obviously kind of um, hard. Sure. Can I fight? Hmm, interesting. I should be very close. So I can easily dodge them, yeah. Oh Jesus, now they're per holy sh I probably should have put like the shoot button on another button than the same one I need to press A with. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, this is rough. Yeah, I should have probably had it on like the the Z R button or something. So what's on the other side here? The same wall. I'm just gonna keep booting, I guess. Yeah, they are just ignored me a couple a little bit because I'm too close. Nice GG. Hell bolt unlocked. Alright, what is the hell bolt? Is that my missile? Hell bolt. Lol. So I assume this is lower range, but more damage. And also lower fire rate. With this I can actually shoot like this direction, interesting. Wait, I'm gonna change this real quick to this one. I think this is still more my more favorite. Wait, I can shoot down. How? The, why didn't it work before? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this because the fire rate with my button spam is simply unbeatable. Button spam, let's go. Hurrah! Oh my god, I was sliding. That is... I think... I need to sp learn to sprint jump. Um... 
spikes killing you instantly. Still a bad game design choice, I would say. But this is the uh, fire jump. This is the second level, right? So let's go to controls. That's still down. That's still left, yeah. Um, but make this wide. And this mouse one. Alright, left plus. Back. No. Back. Good. Alright, so let's see. Hinderlands Inventor Dude. I don't know. This might actually be worse since I'm not very used to um, basically like, move my finger button and also my jump button independently, but it, like, it might be better because I don't have to switch the position, but it might be bad because I can't do both at the same time, but I guess I couldn't before either. So we'll just see. Yeah, what the fuck? Mm. I need to um, reconsider my life choices. Not a Mega Man fan either. I played like probably I think the oldest one is it then. Oh my god, I wanted to to stand still, but no. Uh, I think I played one of the older ones, and yeah. It's just, I think with Mega Man it's not the shooting style, but like the, the kind of bullshitty RNG. And I also played the demo for one of the newest ones on the Switch, and that was hard AF. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're not. Um, I think we want to switch back. Sorry for my indecisiveness. Um, fire is this button. And stand hold is this button. Thank you. And now left plus back. Alright, so let's try this again. It's kind of funny because I grew up with um, Nintendo and kind of like not really Mario but a little bit so for me the A button has always been like confirm and um, confirm and jump and everything and now like with modern stuff basically the B button is always jump and everything and it irks me so much you can't even believe I should keep going have fun see you also have very much fun with your song project. I hope it is successful. Happy music making. Oh boy, I should stand here. I didn't hear us to dodge that, I forgot. Oh my lord. Yeah, I can make sprint jumps way better like this. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Because this is... can I even... Okay, this this works out. Okay, just don't fall down. Don't fall down, Alex. Other games. Yeah, if you fall down in a bottomless pit, you take one half hard damage. This game... Oh yeah, you touch some spikes, die instantly. You have defeated your right to live. You're not taking any chances. Ooh, that was, I think, close. Tar? Really? They got fucking tar? What the hell? Alright. 
Man, Halifer is Halifer. Who could have thought Hell is such a unhospitable place? Like, I thought they maybe had a jacuzzi or something for guests, but no. Is this the checkpoint? I, I, I can't tell. It looks a little bit different than the checkpoints from the previous levels, but I guess it is. Oh boy, now we gotta wait. Oh god. Like, none of these jumps are hard. You have like a, a what, a 5% chance to fail them maybe. But the stakes in the jump are higher than in other games. And that's what's making it hard. Also, I'm very glad these, um, like, enemies don't have recoil because that would that would just anger me. I would be livid. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, what, what the hell? So he doesn't even have to look at me to shoot stuff. Oh my lord, hello. What's up with the music loop not being a loop? Is it actually the same song or is it a playlist? That's, I guess, the big question. Oh my god. I wanted to jump, but I didn't. That's... Hmm. Oh mama, this is, uh... The stakes are high. This is stressful. This is legit stressful. Okay, one damage is okay, because... Oh my god, that is bad. Jesus Christ, I don't know how I survived that. At least with only one hit. Okay, let's let's wait. I really like the default weapon more than the new one we got. I wonder what weapon we'll get for the second boss. We got a pretty classic structure level and then boss. I like that. Hmm, I see how I can aim downwards. Basically, if I only aim downwards, then I can't. I only duck. I have to aim downwards and forwards, and that's kind of um, very scary. Because if you don't grip the stand button, um, then you just move. So that's kind of the scary bit here. Okay, checkpoint. Hopefully that's a checkpoint, but it should be. Why does it show to the left sometimes? I don't get it. I'm just gonna... Never mind, I shouldn't ignore it. Oh my god! They move. I didn't know they move. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, hey! Good. And we got a help. Dope. I feel like the boss is actually coming up soon. Oh, we killed that without even seeing it. That's kind of funny. I jumped! What the fuck is that? I'm mad. I'm molding. Ah, oh, true. Ah, oh.
Okay, we're back here. Good. I should probably first jump and then move. Oh my god, I didn't see that. I didn't... I am so lucky. I'm such a... I didn't see those spikes. Wait, is there a single block here? That's sus. What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Projectiles. Vomit. Sure, just have two sources of... Uh, Insta death there. Wait, what? Oh my, okay, good. I thought I had to jump something to the right, and that would have been, uh, worrisome. Oh, yeah, these are actually, um, solid, so I can't jump underneath, so I would have just slid over that. Which is, again, all right, all right, let's... Oh. <sighs> Chat, always remember to stretch. To stretch and crack. Restore so health. I didn't catch that. This feels like boss time. No. Oh my god, that was a big difference in height. we wouldn't respawn at CP with full health, so that would be nice. It's, it was weird, because we started the boss fight with not full health. Not many games do that. <laughs> Alright, the least that killed me. These guys have a splash zone. Nice, the boss time. Alright, who is it? It is Pyramid Head. You don't deserve to live, you must die. Bopper of a theme. Yeah, not much. When they reach a new stage, they only attack launch their attacks faster. I think we'll no hit this boss. Yeah. GG. Cheers. Did we unlock something? Oh yeah, we did. 
clear. We can hold this. Hell yeah. I wonder if the firepower is less because of that? Like basically damage and if the other option would be better if I'm simply a good masher, but we'll see. Actually, let me change, um, test it right now. We kind of saw how long these took. Oh my god. To kill. Alright, let's just ignore this dude. It's pretty much the same, actually, so I'm gonna go with um, the Slayer. Simply easier. Ah, waiting. Oh my god, fire! Pretty good though. I almost jumped. I almost fell. I wonder if it's like damage boost with um, knockback or without. Because if it's without knockback, you could make a case about you just damage boosting, you know? But also, let's just skip all these little. There's like no reason to wait for them, really. Oh my god, the East dude. Okay, what? Oh fuck, I forgot about these. Everything just shoot. Everything wants me dead. What is this? Hell? Oh, right. The good thing about these fire spots, if I just keep walking right, then they basically. Oh my god. I think a wall jumped right there. If I just keep walking right, then they don't activate until I'm through. Mama, oh mama, that was tight. Did you see that? I'm just gonna jump over that. Is that a biblical accurate depiction of angle? Angel. Angle? Ah, yes. The <laughs> that would be a funny as fuck meme. Just like a 90 degree angle, and it just says, ah, yes, the, um, the accurate, the biblical accurate portrayal of an angle. Okay, I was, I was about to say, do I have to jump this? But no, it's always a platform that's off sync. So I think these run on a global time then. Yeah, I guess it's better to kill them when you have to wait for stuff like this, because otherwise they can hit you. And just a little bit... Preemptive fire here. Ah, preemptive fire once again... 
The USA tactics of strike first, ask seconds work. Wonder how a speedrun would look. Ooh, hi. Health, let's go. Ba, 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 ba. Whenever there's this big stretch of just walking... Hello? Okay, shield enemy, cool, but I guess we can just... Go. I mean, yeah, you stand there, but like, I can just go. The game really should have given us an incentive for killing things. Because right now it doesn't have any, and you just skip. Like, usually I'm I'm one for killing everybody in games, like, even Zelda. And, like, Zelda is especially funny because you know how you can collect hearts and stuff from um, grass, from cutting grass? Um, I had the hat cannon as a child that if it didn't collect that heart, even if I was full health, then an enemy of, Ga like, uh, one of en Ganon's fiends or whatever, basically one of my enemies, would come and grab the heart and heal, him heal themselves, basically. I was so such a child. Why did I do that? Let's kill this enemy and try to get help. Man, these are fire bars, am I right? Oh, bless you. Oh, interesting. Um, you don't have to go behind them. You just have to wait until they drop their shield to attack you. Ha! Oh, what was that? What was that, huh? Oh man. <sighs> oh my god, are we back here? Is this where I think we are? Where the... Yeah, there's just a... Oh my god, we're so far back. But I guess we have full health now, am I right? Oh, hi. Is that where we died now, right? Yeah, no, we, we got past this section. Because I remember these fuckers. Why do they keep in the air so long? What are you? You're water droplets. You're not supposed to be anti-grab. Lol, I just realized if you, like, tap it for one bullet, then the sound clip gets... Lol. Basically cuts off so it runs it sounds really weird. Okay, we gotta kill this one because we're waiting here. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to make the jump. What is the jump button again? Let's try it before actually committing. Okay, it's B. Like it has been for the past hour. This is the jump we died on, I think. Holy shit, we've already been by for an hour. And we're level 3! Although there are only 8 levels, so technically we're like 50%. I was planning on 100%ing this game today. Oh boy, oh boy, hello, oh boy, hello, oh boy. Oh boy, hello. That was some tight platforming by ye, by me. I want to say by yours truly and by me at the same time. Didn't quite work. Nice, boss. Alright, who do we have here, huh? Oh, Melinda, I don't love you anymore. Wow, Melinda, that's very personal. I'm 
Hmm. Being underneath is, I think, the best spot. Question now here is, what is the best weapon then? You only have basically two health left there, that's kinda... Okay, don't teleport so much, holy shit, this is only phase two! Are you teleporting me because I'm already below you or because it's... I think it's one of two moves basically, so you can decide to attack or to... Teleport and RNG just shows that, I guess. Sure. Third phase. Good. I kind of wanna because we got three phases. I don't want to die now. Oh, mama! My finger feels slipping. Well, though. Nice, Drizzy. First try. Trucker unlocked. Ooh. So do we have like a? Tesla gun now. Is it just constant? Isn't this kind of a P? Okay, we saw how, how fast we killed this ghost. What is with this one then? Oh my god, the the shocker is OP. Holy shit. I think each of the beams does basically the equal quality of, of one of these, but the range isn't too great, so I think that's the trade-off there. What a... Oh my god, that's a mine. Why do they have mines now? Yeah, this uh, s <laughs> noise is gonna be annoying. I thought they said sex. I'm very glad I was wrong. Oh my god, and these platforms are disappearing, huh? Why does this still feel like safer platforming than with the spikes, even though this is like vastly more dangerous? Oh my god, what was that? Alright, like, yeah, we probably actually need this. For ranges like that. Hopefully I'll get a checkpoint soon, or at least hell. Man, with the other, I could literally just. Oh, hi. Oh, great. But with these, I have range, so that's a trade off. Wonder what the, the last weapon will then will be. Like, long range and super repeat, please? <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot that the red ones disappeared, but luckily, it didn't matter. Man, this game would have such, like would have benefited from collectibles, I would say, or drops from monsters or something. Gives you a reason to actually kill them. But I guess you're only going for the big fries. Could also be a very good justification for that. 
Which I did look at the. Oh my god, I didn't get the checkpoint. Oh my god, this was here. This was like two minutes ago. This is where I decided to switch to the Gatling gun again instead of the Tesla coil. This is rough. And now we have to wait until... Yeah. So I can actually jump off the red platforms because otherwise I'm screwed. I think not the same song, it's like a playlist of hell songs. Never mind, it is. I wanted to say this was when the sex thing started, but it, it started again. Bro! I swear to God. Should have maybe had the Tesla coil out for that one? Oh man. Because you're not long enough near them. Okay, I, I forgot about that one. You're not long enough to near them to actually do substantial damage with that. So I guess it really just is a trade-off between range and damage. As many things are in life, the scholar tells you. Okay, switch to the Tesla coil. Thank you. Thank you. Brother, fuck you, fuck you. Oh boy. When art thou? Okay, this one sucks. I could duck, couldn't I? I should test that. Alright, now wait. Let's wait. Is that just a, the soldier zombie? Amazing. Oh, okay, we gotta... Because now we got red spikes. This is just gonna be a run. Oh god, thank. God, thank for these checkpoints. Ooh. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Pretty good tell, huh? Like, how does he know to when to shoot? That's kind of my question. The eye is too good for this kind of thing. Because he shot when he didn't even see me, but when he knew that the bullets, after like having the trajectory, blah, 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 would hit me. At least that's what my understanding from the situation that was... Like, see, he didn't even see me. He just...
That was close, but I think I needed to take that risk because otherwise the stone would have said bye bye. Okay, if I duck, it doesn't actually. I don't, I don't think I disappear from the. Nice, help. Wait, there's a pot underneath here, I think. I could have just skipped him. Re Speedrun strats. This is the I call this the Palex skip the first time where Palex realized, oh, I've been a dum dum. I could have just skipped this enemy here. Oh, oh my! What? Other just. Are those just floating rocks that I can defeat? Can I duck? I cannot. Holy shit. No warning whatsoever. Please don't happen when it's under pressure like this. Oh my god. Please give me a checkpoint. Please, man. No! Oh my god, I need health or checkpoint. Oh, please. Please, man. I got wife and children. That was like five minutes of progress. Oh no. Oh, man. Oh, was it? This apparently was a checkpoint, but I don't really realize. No, it's still a fair bit, I think. Oh yeah, this was the read. That was five minutes ago. No. The checkpoint was probably... What am I even saying? The checkpoint was never there. The checkpoint is just illusion. Can I make... Yeah, I totally can. Holy shit. The sprint makes me a beast. I think the sprint, like... I don't think this game will get a big audience, but like, speedrunners could have a field day with this. Like, the sprint seems super broken. Especially if you're somehow able to build up some momentum. Who mama? Because I think you can also activate the sprint mid jump and then it actually applies to the boost. But I'm kind of afraid to try because, you know, dying resets you to the last checkpoint. That was quite a while ago. Yeah, it was also close to comfort. Oh yeah, this is the one I can just skip. Huh? Pallet skip, let's go. The pallet skip first time used in a speed run. I'm just gonna... never mind, I can't skip him. I need to have some space here for my platforming. What did I die to last time? I 
think it was actually an enemy for once. Still ashamed. But I... I don't know why my Joy-Con sometimes thinks I'm pointing left when I'm pointing right. And at this point I'm too afraid to ask. Oh, that was way too close. I should not have jumped. Yes, checkpoint. Oh. Thank God. I really need to ask some people about the opinion about the cam because somehow I feel it's kind of cool with the green screen, but also like the way it is currently, it's kind of sucks. I, that was a tactical trigger actually. I'm a super Kashma dude. I didn't just walk into a mine and forgot about its existence. No, no, no. That was a tactical trigger. One, two. Oh god, I forgot the red one disappeared. I am so glad I just jumped. Interesting thing with the floating rocks. I wasn't a fan of them at first, but now they're kind of interesting. basically hit me if I didn't kill him, like if I killed him like one millisecond later. Just, I, I almost just walked off of that and I don't think that would have been enough. You were a lengthy man. Like, I could make this gap with with the sprint. But obviously because I'm not going for speed, but rather for, hey, I don't want to die. I don't. But I could, and that's kind of the cool thing with speedrun this game, I think. Like, optimizing when to use your sprint, man, that would... Did it just take two of my hit bars? Can I get a replay on that? Because that's actually kind of interesting. Two behind each other, three behind this is gonna get the boss fight. Like this is gonna be the last checkpoint and then the boss, I'm calling it. I'm putting my money on the line. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Thank god they didn't just do the stones yet on these normal platforms, like on the stone platforms. They just did it while we're on really solid ground. I was like, what is that noise? It was just my health. Okay, nice. I called it, I called it. Alright, who we have here? This is the fourth level, I think? Oh, family. We are your family. Obey us. Uh... My families are anti-vaxxers, so I'm gonna say no. And also, I think this is time for the... For this. Because, lol... 
They didn't attack even once in phase two. That's kind of. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this, this is. This is busted. Holy shit, this is busted. Uh, I, I need to mock that. That is just busted. <laughs> Man, this, this weapon, busted. Alright, so... Oh, we, we unlock the missile now. Which does this. But let's switch back to our trusty old slayer, which is probably better for the platform stages, but for boss fights, the other one is a killer. Literally. Ooh, missile, I see. And missile is a Y button. Oh, what the heck? Oh god, these actually don't disappear when you kill the enemy? That's kind of scary, not gonna lie. But also, that, like, they don't damage you yourself. Oh my god, okay, these are just... I see. Ooh, mama. Oh no. Yeah, these are hanged people, I think. That's not good. Oh my god, these are brutally... Oh, Jesus Christ. My stream is FSK18, by the way. Um, just so you know. No liability... Oh my god. No liability to anything. This is torture. Literally. But this is really gruesome and heinous. I'm using smart words. Makes me, it makes me realize I still need to read the summary for Dracula, reading that in my gothic literature class, which is also why I thought I would be the expert to play this game, but I'm lacking the skill. No, I'm actually pretty doing, doing pretty well, I think. Um, oh my lordy. Okay. I wanted to do the missile, but of course I didn't kill everything here. When was my checkpoint? Do I have a checkpoint in this game? In this level? Yeah, I didn't realize I even picked up a checkpoint. Um, but yeah, and I read that last two years ago, I think, for university. And I'm pretty good with remembering what happens in, in media and so on. So I just need a refresher on... Uh, on when the stuff happens, you know? Like the, the chrono... Not even the chronological order, but like chapter order. I was too cop the the chapter order, you know. Oh my god, that was I thought I could actually skip that with sprint. I wanna because this is fairly Early, I want to do the sprint and see if I can skip that. Hmm, <laughs> easy. Ah, interesting. So also the fire. Holy moly, who's that? Is that my older brother? In blue? Oh, no, in red actually, in blue. Yeah, that. But it looks like a human. Like a. Uh, the human skeleton with, with flesh, basically. Crazy, man. This, uh, this game is gruesome, gotta say. I needed a quick kill because the... Oh, what the heck? Oh my god! 
Okay, so these are... I can dodge the... I can kill the... These just shoot and I can't even do anything against that. That kind of sucks. And I can just... But, like... Yo, the range! What the hell? I need to sprint past those. Okay. Good. Checkpoint. I should actually just kill myself here. Never mind. This was not planned, but this was also planned. Just because... I respawn at the checkpoint with full health, right? Greed. This level is called greed, huh? Could stay near, actually. Like, if I stay near those, then it. Like this, kind of. Yeah. If I stay in the middle, then I don't get damaged, I think. Oh, mama. I don't only have two missiles, excuse me. Isn't this the exact same section we were already through? Tempted to pick out the... Tempted to pick out the um, Tesla coil. Because it got... It was... It's like the only weapon was spread. And also these animal... Oh my... Let's just skip that. How did I not get hit is beyond me. Alright, let's... Oh, missile worth it, question mark? Yeah, hello worth it. Oh my god, that is so worth it. <laughs> it's my puppy laser. I can't wait for the boss. Bosses are... I hope I can redo the, the first two bosses with... Um, my new weapons because I want to see how fast I can kill them. <laughs> nah, need a sprint. No, shush! I forgot about that. What was the checkpoint? Oh no, it was still. It was still the same checkpoint! <laughs> Greed. Yep, it sure was greed. You seen that right, kiddo? It was my greed. But if I see that, yeah, can I just sprint past it? Yeah, actually can. That's kind of funny. Ooh, mama. I didn't know how I got not hit there, but sure. It's my fuck you beam, don't come into the vicinity of my- Why is be stopping? I can't- Lol, if my- if I come too close to a wall, my bee stops. That's actually good to know. Does one of the green ones come? No, now the bats come. Good. Let's just permanently hold it like this. Oh, hi. Fudge. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna... I have damage boost through those because... I don't... I 
I think the part where we died is coming up now. Boom. I press the wrong button again. I press spin. Oh, come on. Okay, this is where I died. The checkpoint was literally five meters off. I am molding. I'm not actually specifically killing the enemies, I'm just like, if they come into my general direction. Okay, realign the keys. Thank you for the help. I am very close to dying again, which is not good. I hope these green bastards don't show up. Uh, oh, love it. Love it. Okay, just a second. <sighs> Wanna become famous? Click group. Okay, now they just have another link. Um, press pause again to resume or fire jump to quit. I forgot which button is which, so I was very scared at first. <laughs> yes, checkpoint. Yes, and this is the boss. All right, chat. Are you ready? I should actually kill myself because I only have a 1 HP, but I also kind of want to see if I can just no, no damage the boss. Nicholas, don't run from me, my friend. We can rule the world together. Oh, this was, I, I thought this was still family, no mind. This was greed. That makes sense. He's a capitalist. You know, Jeff Bezos could have been the, the boss here. He was in a ROM hack that I saw somebody play. Oh my god, hello there. Invigorating gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, yeah, um, the, the, the Tesla coil is just too OP, what can I say? Uh, what did we get? I, I didn't see. Guilt. Oh, what is this? Stinger. Huh, I see, but I think I will go with my Tesla coil and the, now it's all cyber, huh? Oh, mama, these travel fast. Oh, wait, did we increase our missile capacity? Is that one of the things that happened? This should be a sixth level now, right? We're, we're getting very close to the enemies, so I'm still gonna use my Tesla coil. But we might have to switch, although I never want to go back to button presses on Leo. I wonder if these walls would kill me. Okay, well, at least the bottom does. We didn't get a checkpoint yet, I don't think. So I think I'm gonna go to the main main just to see on what level we are. Yeah. Uh, fire to quit. Alright, so this is guild. Alright, we're on the sixth level now. Let's go. The music is pretty eerie, gotta say. Thank you. 
but with a quick switch I probably would use that in a situation like this, but it's just not worth to like have the whole select menu and the whole select menu is kinda janky. Oh this is where I said hey do these kill me so we have made the old progress back. Oh no, it, it looked up to the left again for some reason. Oh, glad we got the mines back. Mines were actually not that tough, so I'm glad that is the addition here. Uh, yeah, I need the... Yeah, I think the um, hit, like the the enemy detection of me, happens on radius. So there's a like a a when it radius uh, radius, and then it just fires, even if it doesn't know if it can hit me or not. But in the end, it actually hits me. Oh my! I, I thought it was a C, but that are those are cables. That is a really good aesthetic. I love that. Oh my God! These activate. I was not aware. Cool. I wonder if I can sprint abuse there. Interesting that sprint is also like unlocked from the start. I feel like it would have made a great ability unlock. I... That is bullshit. That is bullshit. That was part of the thing. That was part of the platform. I'm calling bullshit here. Ooh. Ah, doesn't matter. We made it up. Really amazing. <laughs> Sitting speedrun world record here, though. Ah. I'm sliding? Excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, I'm not sliding. I'm... Also, give me... Let's do a stretch break. What's... Oh, man. My shoulders are chilling. Oh, I really need to, like, book a massage appointment or something. Also, I never should press fire here because that would, um, yeah. I wonder if the try shot is actually more useful here, even if I have to button spam. Yeah, no. Um, the coil is still superior. Even if it doesn't have the range, it just kills so much faster than anything else. And most thing here is just in range, so... Getting health is such a disgusting sound, Omeo. Okay, so these are suicide drones. I don't even care, honey. Oh my god. I... I'm using the sprint abuse. Amazing. 
I'm so proud of myself for A, figuring that out and then also utilizing it. Oh, did you see that? Checkpoint, let's... Oh, what the fuck? That is disgusting. Also, are they using gun sound as, uh, music? It's like some... Was it Bach? That did that with the cannons? Or... Were... Some, something with B, I think. through walls I just noticed that's really good no I didn't look to the right I only looked up oh god that okay that was that one wasn't me that one wasn't me gotta say where is the oh is this the the first when we first met him I was like what the fuck is that yeah I think it is Look sharp. Look to the right, Alex. Look to the right. See the signs. Oh my god. I'm bad. Look to the right now? Yeah. Okay, I just damaged with that. Okay. Could have probably done with less damage, but it's okay. Ooh, mama. You'll get a checkpoint, don't worry about it. What the hell? What the hell are these? I'll just keep pressing A, I guess. Keep holding. Just to hope I get everything. Because I don't have the range or not the willpower on me to take them out beforehand. Nice, checkpoint. Yeah, I can just ignore those. Oh my god. I was almost ripped there. Okay, one health, great. Whew! These on and offers kind of. They're of my. W oh my god my worst enemy because I could skip them with a good sprint abuse oh my god don't die I could oh my god I hit the wrong button I how my life oh my I almost solved it with a sprint abuse too but like that would require risk you know Mm. Hey Ted, what's your favorite tea? Wee! I can just wee! Wee! That's actually a bad idea. Dang it! 
Yeah, I should um, actually just kill myself right now, just because I just YOLO through that, and I won't get any help, will I? Alright, now let's let's do it. Let's do it normally again. Get your A game out, Alex. I thought my controller desynced there. Oh, I could totally do this. That was that was an acceptable damage boost. I'm tense right now, Elmeo. The lack of checkpoints is really... No! Did you see that? I was sliding! Like, I... I... Fuck, man. Just doesn't matter how carefully you play before it. Just doesn't matter how much health you have. If you just... Touch, you're dead. You're dead. It. Oh fuck. Am I? Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Something. Uh, I. I somehow tapped out of the game. My controller was controlling OBS. That is not good. And it still is. Okay, now it should work, I think. This was so weird. I hope I'm still alive. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. Okay, these kind of suck because these are the ones with the glitchy detection system, what I would say. Oh my god, I can... I see what happened. I can fully cancel my momentum actually just by standing, but also by like doing this, you know, this button. It's kind of hilarious. The movement engine is kind of broken. I don't know yet if in a good sense or a bad sense on you. Damage boosted. Geronimo! I'll just damage. I'll, I'll just sprint boost these. Life's too short. Die. Ooh. Right, this should be. Excuse me. You don't. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Oh my lord. I could leave, like, I'll probably finish this level. I'm wondering right now if I should um, do the other two levels that are left. 
in this stream or in another stream because um, I have another game on my schedule that is only like an hour long. So I, oh my god, that was clutch. Um, so it could have like a, a double stream basically, where I play both the last levels, uh, the last two levels of this, and that game that is only an hour. Should net me like a good two hour stream, right? I can actually just skip these, which is kind of funny too. I forgot it again. I forgot it again. I had the exact same fucking. <laughs> this is just rough. Like, I can just guarantee you the checkpoint is right after that. I can just guarantee you that's what the checkpoint is. Nope. Don't care. I dodged. You can kind of use the sprint as a dash, which is kind of funny. Alright, I'll just ignore these. And solely focus on, on these. Okay, we got even a health. Come on, checkpoint, checkpoint. I did the section so many times. Of course, there you are. Come on. Even more. Oh my lord. I can even, like, boost this. I don't want to risk it, so I'll just... Oh my god, this was... Again? Oh god, yes. And now, yes! Oh my god. Let's do this. What is this? Peasant, stop! Please, don't hurt us! Um... Oh my god, we're redeeming for our sins, huh? Oh! He actually goes forward. Well, that's bad. Oh, he can shoot. Ooh, hello there, attention was Wow, really? Yeah, this is not the best weapon for that, even though obviously it's a boss kill. How you doing? We're playing a quiescence game, exclamation mark game, if you want a... Oh, I could just spam the rockets. I just realized that. I could totally do that. Bro. Uh, exclamation mark games. Uh, game, if you want to see it for yourself. Uh, it's basically Doom, but a uh, side-scroll shooter platformer. I'm getting very frustrated. Like... Ugh. Oh. You're kaput. What happened? It was work hard. How well am I not getting these jumps? He doesn't even hit me remotely. What? Ha! 
how oh my god the snipe okay gg <laughs> i'm moving and renovate oh shit i have a very hard pass with moving death was that just a tr the name death amazing i have a very hard history of moving so like i moving is the the shittiest thing in life i think um you know the game unpacking which is like about unpacking people think it's like relaxing for me it's just stressful um so i hope everything goes well nothing gets scratched everything is gonna get done eventually uh please rest and take care of yourself after my last move i slept for two weeks literally i was just in bed for two debunk against it because it's a se uh, solid not a semi-solid yeah so these spikes instead of these spikes constitute like 50 percent of every level um please take care of yourselves it's it's very stressful to move so please Take, give the horse some carrots. Wah! That was bad. Things going pretty good. Uh, we got this game from the Indie Game Collective again. And we've been trying it out for uh, two hours now. Uh, oh my, isn't that fucking Freezer from Dragon Ball El Mail? Uh, Oh, okay, good, it comes back, I was about to say. Um, and, uh, yeah. Pretty interesting so far. Not quite what I uh, what I expected, but still pretty good for itself. Like, obviously nothing groundbreaking. Uh, by the way, when I, when I, like, the, the abuses in this game are kind of funny. Um, like, A, when you kill an enemy, all the missiles of it also explode, so you can just stand in front of an enemy, basically, and don't be afraid. Um, also, the sprint um, system not only lets you sprint on ground, but also in the air, so like, you can basically apply sprint retroactively if you jump, and it's so broken, because you can make all types of gaps. And I'm not doing that, because I'm rather for safe sprats, but like, if you get frustrated, you can just speed through the game. Oh my lord. How am I... I guess you're just supposed to stand. Checkpoint, let's go. So you're renovating your old one and your new one? Yeah, it sucks so much that, like, landlords require you to renovate the apartment once you move out. Like, come on. And then the next one requires you to renovate it once you move in. It's so frustrating. No! I was on it! That's... Uh. Also, how do you like the green screen? It's very scuffed. It's very, very bad. <laughs> but I wanted to try it out. Um, what I'm basically doing is I have a Discord custom background um, in green, and then I'm chroma keying it. Ah, that's so fun. So yeah, that's what I what I tried for today. Um, oh my god. Um, and like, well, of course it's oh good, we didn't lose that much of progress. Um, well, of course it's janky, like parts of me. Oh good, it it gives me the thing. Um, like part of me are vanishing and stuff. Um, I still like the green screen aspect, honestly. Um, so I'm very tempted to find a way to like impromptu green screen. Like what I need is basically just a green shower curtain. Um, like literally that's it. That's also like how small it does it. But the thing that I actually need is like a thing to put the shower curtain on, you know? You know, I, I kind of need like one of those um, map folders you had in school, if you remember those. Yeah, that's just freezer. Ooh, mama. See, oh my god, where? I don't even see him! And he can attack me. Jesus, okay, help. Um. 
But yeah, this is, I think, the seventh level, and we only have eight levels in this game, I think. So, we're finishing soon. Hopefully. If I don't die, and die, and die, like I did the last few hours. Oh, so why, is, why are the, the three wise men from Jesus' origin story in this game? Why are they in death? No, no scope. Oh, dead. I have uh, a couple of weapons, like five, but um, the Tesla coil is the most absolute busted. Because I think all of these five strands are um, hurting individually. Oh, oh my... I don't want to wait, so I'm gonna beat boost. But the speed boost is... Ooh, that was close. Uh, oh my god. We Sadly on a timer. Uh, not on a timer, on a... Oh my god. Bar. Gosh, whatever you wanna... This is bad. So I can't abuse it too freely. Oh my god, that was bad. I had full trust in the, the enemy projectile being gone. Okay, we got two health, so that's good. Buffers, let's go. So yeah, how do you like this green screen? <laughs> oh, what is... Fuck, is that like Medusa head? So what's their attack? Just spinning a ball? Good. Something I can easily dodge. What's well, something funny I noticed? Um, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll show you now. Um, like, you can have like this, obviously. You can have the sprint. But if you press the, um, the position button so you can aim like this and this, you just stop all momentum. It's so funny. Oh, wow. Ooh, hello. I have no health left. That is not... Hello. Ooh, mama, hello. Good, thank you. I have not been using my missiles at all this level. I can't tell if that's good or bad. Rough. But we didn't die for a long time. I should probably just die on purpose after each checkpoint. Ah, death. Yes, I know what it is. <laughs> um, just to refill my health. Like, I, I didn't see that the game tracked any kind of death. It doesn't have any achievements, so there was no real penalty to dying except being set last checkpoint, which is a pretty big penalty. If you're not, like, right beside the checkpoint. I wonder how I could not make the jump even with sprint. Can I sprint in the air? Like, I don't care. Ooh, that was close, didn't see those. The so double jump and the sprint, very broken. Nice, checkpoint. Oh, nice, this is already the boss. Okay, let's do this. What is the boss? Oh, uh, Sanctum. Stop this madness, you'll destroy both of us. Well, that's the plan. Oh, 
Hello there. Oh. The dubstep, sure, the king is a dubstep fan. Huh? Ah, easy, GG, first try. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, the tassel coil is very, very OP. The wooden mask, it was a cold wind oh that's the wooden mask. It was a cold, windy, wintry evening in the year 1936. Dr. Aaron Weiser was sitting in his study, his glasses slightly drooping below his eyes and peering at a strange object that he held in his hand. Dr. Weiser, learned man of great knowledge, was the head of psychiatrists of the Rockwood Psych Psychiatric Hospital, the national institution that treated and studied diseases related to the uns unsound mind. Dr. Weiser had an illustrious career, spending 40 years in the study of human psychology, a man of great reputation. He had authored and published many breakthroughs, re breakthrough research papers that paved the way for modern treatments for a variety of psychological and mental ailments. Despite all the experience and vast studies and research done by him in the field of psychology, the recent peculiar rock case that he was handling had completely baffled him and all the other doctors at Rockford. As Dr. Wise was staring at the object in his hand in deep concentration, a sudden knocking on the door jolted him out of his dreamlike state. A knocking, a gentle rapping. Who could it be? thought the doctor as he hastily opened the drawer on his desk and placed the object into it. Come in, Dr. Wise said, straightening himself up in his chair and waited for the door to open. The door swung open gently, and in came an old man who looked at Dr. Dr. Wise and greeted him with a warm smile. Just like oiling my cords. I didn't know we'd play Vision All today. Ah, Dr. Hemsworth, exclaimed Dr. Wise, and continuing, he said, Quite a surprise to see you turn up so suddenly. I guess you must have received my telegram requesting you to pay a visit to the hospital. But since I did not receive any response from you, I was like, well, I wasn't expecting to see anything soon. Please, have a seat. Dr. Hemsworth walked into the room, placed his winter coat on the coat stand, and took a seat on one of the three chairs at the front of the desk of Dr. Weiser. It's indeed quite a windy day today. It's indeed quite a windy day today, Dr. Weiss. Weiser. They, they are... Jesus, spell this, please. I'm really sorry for such an unheralded visit, Dr. Weiss. Dr. Hemsworth said with an apologetic voice. When I had received the telegram, I was caught in some domestic and personal affairs which made it impossible for me to respond back then, and subsequently I left from my town to make it here in a haste, making it impossible for me to respond back to your message. Also, spelling, I wrote this one, screenshot. Doctor, also the first one, also the screenshot. I'm just going to check. Dr. Hemsworth was head of the Council of the Rockford Psychiatric Hospital, which was an internal department to take care of all affairs related to the asylum. The Rockford Asylum Council was a prestigious department which had received multiple accolades for the management of the hospital, making Rockford the leading psychiatrist institution in the country. The council counted many renowned uh, doctors and psychologists as part of the panel, and Dr. Hemsworth, too, was a psychologist of great accomplishment and renown. The council's task encompassed everything related to the asylum, right from securing funds to run the hospital, oversee all re research work being done there, and also take periodic reports from the hospital staff on the overall health and condition of the patients. The council had considerable control over the psychiatric hospital and any major decision regarding the place or any of the patients that required permission from the council. Both Weiss and Hemsworth began chatting about the general's affairs, and this went on for a while. Soon enough, Dr. Hemsworth said, I read the telegram you had sent about the patient named Arthur Benton, and that you had your team of doctors have decided to shift him into the seclusion chambers. Is it true? Can you tell me the details of the situation? The seclusion rooms were chambers padded with soft material to prevent self-harm by its inhabitants. This was only reserved for very few rare cases where the patients had a tendency to either physically harm themselves or the people around them, or both. Yes, that's true, said Dr. Wise grimly, and started to explain the recent occurrences at the asylum. They tried their best to help Arthur Benton, however all of their efforts are futile. Uh, when he was admitted to a hospital, he was responsive to a therapy, but in the past few weeks his mental condition has deteriorated considerably. 
the decadence of his condition started around wait eight weeks ago. It began with him complaining of hearing noises, and within a week started having started having visual hallucinations. Started seeing people around him when there were no one in the room, and over the next two weeks started seeing entities, demons, and all sorts of other abominations which he claims are trying to se assassinate him. He showed signs of extreme paranoia and was often found hiding somewhere in the room, below the couch, behind the cupboards, or any old place he could find. Dr. Hems was, was listening keenly. Weiser continued. All of this was still manageable, but the real trouble started around four weeks ago when he started getting violent. He began attacking the hospital staff. Initially, it was mild, but soon enough, he began attacking them with a vengeance that has only been growing ever since. He kept accusing them of plotting an assassination attempt on him and spitting loath loathingly in their faces. The doctors at certain times were forced to use sedatives to pacify the pandemonium raging on in the cell because of his hellish outbursts. A few of the doctors had been injured too during some of the episodes. However, something peculiar happened two weeks back. Also, why is this a suddenly a vision of, like, a get there inspired by Lovecraft and everything, and the unsound mind, the mad and stuff is a huge topic, but honestly, I would have liked this more sprinkled between the different chapters. Saying this, Wisen slowly opened and reached his hand into the drawer at his desk, and carefully pulled out the strange object that... That is the mask we're wearing in the game. Are we just a mental patient? Was this all inside her head? Is that the plot twist? <laughs> Um, Carefully put out the strange object that was the subject of his scrutiny just before the arrival of Hemp's room. And as he placed the object on the table, the blowing of the winter wind outside got much louder, sounding like the howling legion of a thousand ghouls. Hemsworth looked at the object and with a shudder picked it up from the desk. It's a mask, Hemsworth exclaimed after brief inspection of the object. It was indeed a mask made of wood. The contours of the mask and the way it was carved were suggestive that it was a handiwork of desperation, as though its craftsman was in great turmoil while making it. White responded gravely, Yes, but it's not ordinary mask. This is the mask we found in the cell of Arthur. Around two weeks back, one of the doctors found him wearing it, and he was sitting surprisingly quiet on the floor, as though in deep meditative state. Right in front of him on the floor were some strange inscriptions and hieroglyphs that he had drawn, which seemed to be part of some kind of occultic ritual that he had performed. It was quite a surprise to seem so unagitated. He just sat there, I tell you. Upon later investigation, it was found that Arthur had ripped off a piece of wood from the door and had carved his, this mask out of it with his bare hands. He carved it by scratching away it with his fingernails and gnawing at it with his teeth. Later, we found that almost all of his fingernails were ripped off by the scratching, and he had also lost a few teeth because of the biting of the wood, and the drawings and instructions he made on the floor of the room were made with his own blood. Oh god, it was a horrible imbroglio. I have no idea what that word means. Um, a terrible imbroglio, what was I? That whole episode, I tell you. We spent the rest of the week only tending to the injuries sustained by Arthur. However, we noticed a strange thing after the incident. Arthur seemed to be very place, pleasant and calm whenever he wore the wooden mask, and whenever we tried taking it away from him, he would lash out at us violently. It had become very easy to manage, but only when he had the mask on. Seeing this recent development, we decided to let him keep the mask. But you have it right now, so what happened? Another strange development was that he started to mumble and murmur under his breath whenever the mask was on. One of the doctors who had spent a considerable time attending to Arthur managed to piece together a theory based on the rambling monologues of the patient. The doctor said that according to Arthur, the mask is some sort of an aptrop what the fuck? Apotropaic charm. A charm that wards of evil and protects him from some kind of dark force that seeks to destroy him. The forces that haunt him in his hallucinations. And the drawings and inscriptions on the floor were part of some magic ritual for creating the wooden mask. But with debate and deliberation, a team decided to let Arthur keep the mask, and it seems to have a therapeutic effect on him. Uh, it calms him down, making it easy for us to conduct counseling sessions and administer other medications. Later, we found that almost all of Okay, that's very strange. Then how did you manage to get the mask at your office? Responded Hemsworth. Wise replied, No need to fret, Dr. Hemsworth. Right now, Arthur is sedated. But we won't be keeping the mask without uh, mask with us too long. I had taken it from him to study it better in the hope that the documentation of this case and this mask will be helpful in his treatment and also could be useful in further research on the strange condition. 
Maybe this research could be helpful to many other patients with similar cases in the future. Understood. <laughs> and what conclusion have you come to with? Uh, have, have you come to with the diagnosis of the strange disease? What is Arthur suffering from, and what led him to descend to this condition? Asked Doctor Hemsworth. Weiss replied, "It's hard to tell, but we figured it's some sort of schizophrenia, an extreme case of it, actually." and competing along with wild and violent bouts of hallucinations. To know how the situation transgressed into this, maybe it would be wise to know a bit about Arthur Benton's history. Arthur was born to the Benton family in a village named Runwick, Brunswick, located somewhere in the hinterlands far from a city. Most of the Runswick folk run a small-scale family businesses of lumbering, all thanks to the forest surrounding the village, lush with trees. The village folk um, were simple and led mundane lives, Lives, that is also necessary. Wait, that is not a mistake. Never mind. I'm dumb. Uh, with each family running their lumbering business, but were quite content with what they had. Arthur had one sibling too, one sister with whom he grew up. He grew into a fine young man, and like most youth in the village, joined his father's wood trading business. His life was quite ordinary and uneventful until he fell in love with a girl named Melinda, who incidentally too was from the Runswick village. Yeah, we were battling his inner demons. We had Melinda. We had the family. We control you, Melinda. I don't want you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. And I wonder what the greed thing is. And he apparently killed a lot of peasants. Just like all romances in the prime of youth, Arthur's love affair was uh, was in full bloom. However, <laughs> it's getting quite late, man. Just like all romances in the prime of youth, Arthur's love affair was too uh, was in full too was in full bloom. However, tragedy struck when one day Melinda decided to leave and separate from Arthur. The heartbreaking separation with Melinda had left Arthur lost and incapacitated. Slowly but eventually, his meltdown started affecting his relationship with others around him. He wanted to run away from the Runswick in the hope of escaping the herd and desolation he was going through. Eventually, he couldn't carry this. Like, where is the other, like, thing mark, you know? Quotation mark. Eventually couldn't carry this burden any longer and one day decided to leave Runswick in search for solitude and to start his life anew. He had left without any warning leaving the Bentons in shock. Uh, Bentons in shock with his unforeseen departure. But they said nothing about it and I thought it would be wise to leave him alone in the hope that solitude would help him overcome his misery and he would return one day. Arthur did return back to visit his family eventually but not for a very long while. Not until a slew of forlorn events transpired between Arthur's departure from Runswick and his homecoming, said Dr. Wise with a look of pity in his eyes. Dr. Wise continued. After his leaving, Arthur ventured towards the town of Red Hill, toward the north of Runswick. Red Hill is known for its various flourishing businesses, business establishment, and economic prosperity. Arthur was a smart and wise young man, and even though in grief he knew intuitively that he would need to get an employment, since the money he carried with him was little and would last him merely a week or so. Upon reaching Red Hill and after scouring for a while managed to find and after scouring for a while, he managed to find employment at one of the business of Red Hill's richest man, Nicholas Calvos. Nicholas Calvos was an astute businessman, Red Hill. His empire consisted of a vast assortment of enterprises, ranging from construction, clothing, mining to everything in between. But the one avenue where he wasn't able to gain a foothold was the business of wood logging and trade. Seeing that Arthur was from the Wanderswick family and that he had the right skills to be a good resource, Nicholas took Arthur into employment at his newly established wood selling business. And Arthur worked hard there, building up the business bit by bit and putting his skills and knowledge to task. Although still recovering from the grief of the previous happenings at his village, Arthur's submersion into his newly found work helped in keeping him occupied and letting go of his grief. Nicholas was very pleased with Arthur since the skillful and crafty young man was turning the wood selling business into a huge success and worked very closely with Arthur. This lot of text. Weeks and months passed by and as time went by Arthur. I wonder if this is like the last level since we have like 8 levels in this text last level or if you just beat the final boss. Um... He wanted to return back to meet his family and reunite, however his work kept delaying his plans of going back to his village. But almost a year later, he bl a blasted tragedy struck. The village of Brunswick was hit by a strange plague, one that none of the doctors who had visited the patients could diagnose or identify. 
The plague is documented by some of the doctors was characterized by an outbreak of fever, followed by some strange purple blemishes appearing on the skin and unexplainable loss of body fluids. Although many efforts were made by the doctors to identify the cause of this disease, none could comment for certain on the nature of this plague. Doctors advised that outside visitors were not to enter the village. Almost each and every uh, family that lived in Runswick uh, has been besieged by the melon plague. Upon receiving the news of the plague, Arthur wanted to rush to the village to assess the condition of his family and help them, but was advised and even threatened against doing so by the townsfolk of Red Hill. Everyone in Red Hill was worried about allowing anyone to go to Runswick, lest the plague manage to find its way to the town through some unsuspecting victim of the plague. Then a few days after the onset of the malicious plague, a strange thing happened. It occurred when one day Arthur had gone to Nicholas Calder's mansion for matters related to work and business. However, something greatly disturbing must have transpired within the stone walls of the mansion. For after a few hours at the mansion, Arthur had stormed out in haste and started off on an unplanned journey towards Runswick. Arthur wouldn't be very clear and tell us exactly what had happened that day and what made him leave for the village in such a haste, but some of the Red Hill townsfolk whom he spoke to said that while Arthur was walking towards the main town centre and while renting out a horse carriage for his journey, he kept muttering garrulously about how the Runswick folk are in some kind of danger and they must be taken out from there immediately and that the whole plague was the evil workmanship of Nicholas Calvus. He sounded like a madman, they said. Probably like poisoned groundwater? Dr. Wise paused to take a breath and continued. Eventually, when Arthur reached Ronswick village, it wasn't anything like he had remembered it like. It had changed. The village, once bustling with wood lumber and firewood cellars, haggling and discussing business, had now become a deserted and barren shell of what it was before Arthur's departure from the village. While he was making his way to the house of his family, Arthur felt like he was riding through a graveyard, rather than his own village. Upon reaching his house, he called out his family, his mother, father, and sister, but he didn't receive any answer. Arthur then decided to make an entry into the house with his heart beating wildly against his heart. His heart beating wildly against his heart, not <laughs> against his chest. Jesus Christ. Like, I don't want to bash in games, but does this game have a proofreader or QA? Even an indie game like the lowest level needs a QA tester. Not knowing what to expect in the house, but nothing in the realm of some imagination could prepare Arthur for what he was to find in his former house. Arthur opened the front door, which was surprisingly unlocked at the time, and entered into the main room. And in the main room, he saw nothing. However, there was a vial, a miasmic stench that corrupted the air in the house, and was very unsettling for Arthur. He slowly made his ha uh, way up one of the bedrooms, and when he opened it, was petrified beyond the belief of the sight that beheld him. In the roof, he saw a human figure sitting in a chair completely disfigured. Although the body, whole body was intact, the skin had taken a color that it was closer to a shade of derp, deep purple and scarlet. It did not move. The body had not decayed as one would have expected a corpse to, but the whole frame of the body was dry and shriveled, as though all the blood and, under, and other internal organs were sucked out from the person. And the face was the most horrible part, for it looked like it was suck, sucked out dry with only the purple leathery skin upon it, contorted in a way that suggested the person was in great pain during his final hours of life. And this face was of someone Arthur knew all too well, for it was the face of his dead father. That moment was like being hit by a lightning bolt, and although completely rattled, Arthur managed to gain his composure, for he knew he would need every bit of willpower to hold himself together. Nauseous and sick, he rummaged and scrambled through all the rooms in the house, and one by one he met his other family members, all dead and in the same shriveled and plagued condition as his father. This had completely broken Arthur, and he straddled out of the house and back into the horse carriage, and left for a return journey back to Red Hill. But Dr. Hemsworth looked in disbelief and said, I got what a tragedy! Wise agreed with Hemsworth and said, Yes, I agree with you, but the mystery doesn't end here, there is more to it. Leaving Runswick, Arthur returned back to the mansion of Nichols in Red Hill, and after a while at his house, left the mansion and went to the town's police station, claiming that he had gone and killed Nicholas Calvus in his mansion, and had come to turn himself in. The authorities were quite shocked to learn what Arthur, who was a close employee and acquaintance of Nicholas, had done, and immediately a team of investigators set forth to visit the Calvus mansion. But upon reaching the mansion, they were in for a root shop. Nicholas Calvus was alive. Yeah. Nicholas told the investigator that it was true that Arthur had come to the mansion, 
but Nicholas was not there during Arthur's visit. Instead, Nicholas was in a conservatory located in a sprawling garden behind the mansion and was tending to some exotic plants, which was a favorite hobby of his. Upon hearing a commotion, Nicholas had rushed to the mansion, but Arthur was gone by then. He later learned from the mansion butler that, during his absence, Arthur had stormed into the mansion and, spitting the foulest of profanities, had made, made his way up the room of Nicholas. While it was in Nicholas' room, the butler and other housekeepers heard a huge racket erupt in the room, with Arthur hurling vile profanities and the sound of objects being thrown around in the room, as if there was a brawl going on. And after many long minutes that felt like eternity, Arthur emerged from Nicholas' room and ran out of the mansion. This was the testimony given by Nicholas to the police. Well, the absurdity of this case is getting outrageous by every passing minute, said Dr. Hemsworth in disbelief. Wise replied, And you know what, Dr. Hemsworth? That's not all. The whole story gets much more bizarre from here. When the police informed Arthur that Nicholas is alive, and the testimony he gave the police, Arthur began accusing Nicholas of being an evil man. He threatened that he was going to kill Nicholas at all costs, and that it had to be done to save the world from some untold evil. The authorities tried to calm him down, but to no avail. After a while, he began accusing the authorities of being in cahoots with the Red Hill businessman. Seeing this unstable behavior, the police turned Arthur into a hospital for treatment. While he was here, Arthur told us the wildest theory we have ever heard. He said that Nicholas was some kind of sorcerer, and that he had studied the dark arts and read forbidden books of the occult, and that he misused his dark skills and sorcery to build his business and accumulate wealth by cunningly killing and eliminating all his competitors with the help of dark magic. In fact, the strange plague that hit the Runswick folk was not the doing of the natural forces as was believed by doctors, but rather it was some kind of diabolical curse the Dinklers will set loose in the village to eliminate the wood lumber folk and clear the way for his wood business emperor to flourish. The businessman had cunningly taken Arthur on his wing, knowing very well that he would need to first establish a foothold in the wood business and then eliminate his competition to usurp all the economic benefits an enterprise could derive from it. He had used similar vile plans to gain dominion in all of his other businesses as well. Others said that Nicholas' greed is insurmountable and he had plans of expanding his malish, malicious empire and will kill thousands of innocent people in his conquest. Arthur confessed to us that he suffers from a great sense of guilt because of this. He believes that he is partially responsible for the grotesque fate of the Runswick people, since he was the one who built the wood business of Mr. Calvus. And had he known early about the dark nature of his employers, employers' intentions, he could have saved the people of his village. Had he not stepped out of the village in the first place, he would have never met Nicholas, and this tragedy would not have occurred. Arthur still maintains that he had truly killed Nicholas that day when he returned to Redhill from his visit to Runswick, but with the help of some melon witchcraft, Nicholas managed to live, or maybe he had actually died but resurrected himself back to life using his blasphemous sorcery. According to Arthur's former employer, Mr. Calvus is after his life, for Arthur knows too much. Nicholas is skilled in a type of witchcraft with which he can create passages into unseen realms, and he controls these realms with the help of his witchcraft. Arthur's, Arthur's spirit is dragged and trapped into some unknown dark realms of magic, where Nicholas controls legions of dark forces. According to Arthur, he is also trapped and enslaved the souls of his loved ones and is using them to bring destruction to Arthur. He, keep mumbling, he keeps mumbling about how one day he will escape from the hospital, and then he'll set forth to fulfill a task that is important to both humanity and himself, the task of killing and destroying Nicholas Calvus. Dr. Hemsworth was rubbing his chin, both in amazement and confusion, and asked, I do not know what to say, Mr. Wise. Arthur's condition is strange indeed. What are your thoughts on Arthur's bizarre story about Nicholas Calvus? Do you think there is an element of truth in it? Dr. Wise replies, Oh, there is no doubt about it. Arthur's story is nothing but a fantastic figment of imagination woven by the delirious mind. Witchcraft, sorcery, occult practices, all of these are just false beliefs of the uneducated. Our profession of psychology doesn't permit any room for entertaining such fallacies and superstitions. We are quite sure that he has some sort of schizophrenia, and it can only be cured by scientific medicinal practices, not by some <clears throat> babbling of incantations by superstitious fools. To this Hemsworth replied, I agree to your point, Wise. Considering the oddity of this case, I believe it would be wise to heed your suggestion and uh, transfer him to the seclusion chamber. I will take this matter up with the council and assure you that the council would provide all possible aid in helping Arthur's recovery. Anyway, what do you think are the chances of making a recovery from the strange schizophrenia? 
My bet is that uh, Calvus is on the council, like he's part of the control council. Wise replied, "On the probabilities of successful treatment of him, I will treating treating him of successful treating him. I will not comment, Doctor Hemsworth. We'd hope in the beginning when he was a new admit into hospital." Along with the medications, it seemed like Arthur, who was making a conscious effort to stabilize his mental situation, he would often speak to himself in a consoling manner, as if there was a small piece of sanity left in him which was trying to reason with himself, as if another sane version of his mind still existed and was trying to help him out of his delirium, but it didn't help, it wasn't enough. As soon as the violent hallucinations began in him, we could have witnessed the unfortunate death of the last remaining fragments of sanity and reason. I really hope from a heart that he can help him recover completely and understand the true nature of his hallucinations and the untold dreams that Arthur's mind wanders into. But till we don't find a cure for this disease, those unfathomable realms of wicked blasphemies and eternal damnation can only be traversed by Arthur Benton behind this wooden mask. The end. Push jump off here. RB Benton and he music by Skane. Special thanks. Bethune, Carrigo, Yai, Eve, Thumpex, Fonz, George, Blackwell, Fonz. Not even the, the, the main thing who did this, wow. So this was, yeah, the <laughs> amazing, we beat the, the final... Is this, um... Are these Japanese letters? Okay, I'll screenshot that. Um... What is the back button? Oh yeah, back is probably this, yeah. Amazing, so the last level was actually just like the story. The story behind and it makes a lot of sense it's very interesting i would have liked if they feeded us this um like piece by piece throughout the level not in a 20 minute lower dump but it was first pretty pretty good well record then it doesn't even have a twitch category i doubt it has a speaker on the com category um but if it has then actually no because the um the spikes just suck they suck so hard i died so many times that i'm so mad um anybody lie uh not that i can see there and not that i can see there either you know what really sucks about the games and demos category that so many people are playing a game with for which a category is there but they just are they even either don't know how to do it or they are just too lazy to do it it, it sucks I should actually sort by many. Yeah, sorting by many actually gives like the the few real ones. Although some are playing Minecraft even. Ah, but yeah. Um, then I shall end the stream. Uh, this was acquiescence. Again, here's the link in chat. Um, also check the description if you want this. Um, this was part of the IGC showcase and we have tons of other great games coming up including Monkey Treasure of the Aegean for a protocol and escape underground which I will play in the following days um, so yeah thank you so much for being here uh, please leave me feedback about the green screen um, I'll probably still change it and yeah thank you so much for being here until next time take care